Want to stay fit during the holidays? Me too. But here's the thing, the high calorie foods, drinks, treats, and sweets, they are all coming. They're all coming for us. So how do you do it this time of year? You're not alone. Many people lose sight of their fitness and fat loss goals entirely for this month. I don't want you to take a bad month and have it ruin your year. So I got three steps to be your voice of reason and help you shred those holiday pounds. So let's get started. Step number one, get refocused. What you focus on will grow. The focus in so many holiday traditions or parties or get togethers, reunions is food. This holiday season, I want you to refocus your attention, getting away from food back to what's important, spending time with your friends, family, giving gifts, holiday traditions, whatever it is, focus on the activity, not the eating. It's important for you to stay focused on your dieting goals. Remind yourself of all the progress you've made and keep your goals in the forefront of your mind. Be aware that the holidays can be a time of emotional eating. Sometimes stress, conflict, or depression can leave you triggered. If this happens, try to address the root of the problem rather than drink or eat it away. It takes strategy. This brings me to step number two. It's important to use strategy when approaching the time of so many celebrations with parties and parties and get-togethers, but stay focused the most obvious and effective strategy is to not arrive at the party hungry. Instead, have a low calorie, high protein meal ahead of time. When it's time for extreme measures, try some tight fitting clothing to remind you not to eat too much. Another hack is to chew gum before and after a meal. This will keep you from overindulging and continuously dipping into the treat or dessert table. Instead, stay away from that table. Keep yourself a safe distance. And when you can, use a small plate instead of a dinner plate. And don't go back for seconds. Another important strategy is getting your workouts in, right? If we're eating the calories, we gotta find a way to burn them off. So within your holiday schedule, make sure that you're committed to your workouts so that we can make this holiday your best season yet. Number three, moderation. My third step is not telling you to deprive yourself of all the food you love in the time of year that everyone wants to enjoy, but pick your battles. Be smart about what you want to choose. Trim those calories where you can and practice moderations. Some of your favorite indulgences may only come around this time of year. This may cause you to want to overindulge before it's too late. Instead of suffering yourself, survey the whole table, see what's around and pick your choices, right? Pick your favorites and enjoy them instead of enjoying everything just because it's on the table. Also, when it comes to alcohol, it's a really easy way to just go crazy on the calories. So limit the amount of alcoholic beverages you drink. Pick the parties, right? You, maybe you can't drink at every party. Pick those battles and limit those alcoholic drinks when you can. Follow these simple three tips, right? So strategize, refocus, and practice moderation. And 2020 can be your best year yet. That being said, if you're not exercising right now, I want to see you on the blue. If you haven't been to the club, let's get you started. Call, email, or text us, and I'll get you started with a free trial. I'm Coach David. I want to make 2020 your best year yet, so I'll see you on the blue.